With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is verify whether the following are zeros of the polynomial indicated against them. So we are given many such polynomials and we need to check whether these are the zeros of the polynomial or not. Okay, so for uh, any x, if it is the zero of the polynomial, that means the value of that x, if you put it in the given polynomial and find out that p of x, then it should come out to be zero. So then we can say that that x is the zero of the polynomial. Okay, so now I'll check this condition for each of these given polynomials. So first part is px is equals to 3x plus 1 and I need to check this at x is equals to minus 1 by 3. So what we'll do is we'll find p of minus 1 by 3. So this is equals to 3 multiplied by minus 1 by 3 plus 1. So this 3 and this 3 will cancel each other. So we'll be left with minus 1 plus 1. And now this p of minus 1 by 3 is coming out to be 0. Hence we can say this is the 0 of the polynomial. So this x is equals to minus 1 by 3 is the 0 of the polynomial p of x. Yeah, so this is how we'll check this for each and every part. So second is, in second part we are given polynomial px as 5x minus pi and I need to check this at x is equals to 4 by 5. Alright, yeah, so I'll find p of 4 by 5. So this will be equal to 5 multiplied by 4 by 5 minus pi. So this 5 and 5 will cancel each other. So we'll be left with 4 minus pi, which is obviously not equals to 0. Hence, this is not the 0 of the polynomial. So x is equals to 4 by 5 is not the 0 of the polynomial. Yeah. Now similarly third part in this third part we are given the polynomial px as x square minus 1 and we need to find this at x is equals to 1 and minus 1. Okay so firstly p of 1 it will be 1 square minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 and this will be equal to 0. Similarly, p of minus 1 will be minus 1 square minus 1. So, this minus 1 square will become 1 minus 1 and this will again be equals to 0. Okay. So, I can say that x is equals to 1 and x is equals to minus 1 are the zeros of the polynomial p of x. So both these are the zeros of this given polynomial. Okay, now we'll do this fourth part. So in fourth part we are given polynomial px as x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 2 and we need to check this at x is equals to minus 1 comma 2. So again what I'll do is I'll find out p of minus 1. So this will be minus 1 plus 1 times minus 1 minus 2. So this will become 0 multiplied by minus 3 or it will be 0. Similarly p of 2 is nothing but 2 plus 1 times 2 minus 2. So this will become 3 times 0 or this will become equals to 0. So again this x is equals to x is equals to minus 1 and 2 are the zeros of the polynomial p of x. Okay. Now fifth part. Yeah. So in fifth part we are given polynomial p of x as x square and we need to check this at x is equals to 0. Okay, so I'll find p of 0. This will be equal to 0 square and this will be equal to 0. Okay, so we can simply say that x is equals to 0 
is the zero of the polynomial p of x. Okay, let me just check sixth part. Okay, l x plus m. Yeah, so in sixth part we are given the polynomial p x as l x plus m, and we need to find this at x is equals to minus m by l. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll find p of minus m by l. This will be equal to l multiplied by minus m by l plus m. So this l and l will cancel each other. So we'll be left with minus m plus m. Okay, and this is nothing but equals to zero. So what I can say is that x is equals to minus m by l is the zero. Of the polynomial p of x. So this is how we solve these parts. Thanks for watching. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.